Hey, what's up, homies? We doing more shows. It's actually gonna be episode six today. See, what was happening was that I that last episode was episode five. Anyway, Olga's a bit upset. Uh, Wizen got destroyed. And that's when it's like, ah, it's fine. Wizen was the weakest one of us. When I first saw that, I was like, wait, what you do? Can you all do that Super Omega Titan Gurn Logan bullshit? Aw, oh, man, I just lost all my arms. How am I supposed to do that again? But then it's like, oh, wait. Actually looking at their characters, especially old man, it's like, he seems like the scientist -y type. He's probably not going to grow super big, right? That'd be weird if they all did the Titan thing, right? Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, they, they all per they all betrayed you for a cause. Isn't that great? Isn't that lovely? Doesn't that make you feel just warm inside? At least they did it for a reason, right? It wasn't just because they didn't like you. They didn't want to invite you to any of the office parties anymore so that they killed you off. Nah, they, they had a good reason. They were like, get, get this dude out. It's trouble. I like how Sergei doesn't look like Sergei there. And makes me think of, like, Shimon. I already brought up Gurren Logan, but I, I, like, you can see the hair, but for a second I, I was looking at it, I was like, that's not the right hair, but then you can actually see it extends behind him, as it actually is there. I fucking hate Sergei's character. I hate it so much. He's, he's Jin. Once again, After another Bleach Horizon, Osura's old rival Yasha appears. Except he's not as good as Jin. Ever calm and collected, he outmatches and, and I'll point that out later. Regard. Anyway, yeah, Sasuke However, beats Naruto's Yasha ass. Says something that as per usual, the fires for the first time. With an Asura. Like, utterly destroys Naruto's behind. And, uh, does, and that teaches Naruto nothing. And he gets back up, and that's how that usually goes. Okay, let's go into the episode. How much time we got left until Monster Hunter is dead? Eight hours. We got eight. Countdown eight hours. That's the true point. Also, actually, let me shut my ass up. Sasuke in this game has a great fucking theme song. You are a fool. Next time. Do not come back. Asura, why have you come back? Okay. That, that's all we need. It's, it's still there. It plays the whole time because we're fighting him. And this is the moment where I learned, oh snap. Um, he's strong. He's real strong. He, he's real strong. But the thing I didn't learn was because I thought, oh, this is where I get beat down, right? This must be one of those matches that I can't win, and I just have to let him beat my ass, because what am I supposed to do? Kick him? And eventually I realized that it is in fact what I had to do, because I saw that the burst meter was going up, and the fact that I can kick at all seems to be promising. Although that could have been like, well, they're still going to give you an attack, but that doesn't mean you're going to actually be able to pull anything off of it. Yeah, but the second I realized, oh wait, I, I have a burst meter and everything, I probably should use it. Wasn't looking good. He kind of he kind of wrecked me up to that point. There goes your headbutt, as every main protagonist should know. Because of this. Your existence threatens everything we have worked for! So if I'm right, I think this is my first game over. And I tried I tried my best to make the comeback. Like I was like, nah, wait, hold on, I actually do have to do this. Cause I figured if it was gonna cut off. 
at any point to um be like, oh, you, you lose this match, like you lose this fight, you're supposed to lose it. I figured it was gonna do it much sooner than it does, and then it didn't do it when I got to that point in my health. So I was like, oh, oh, I have to win, huh? Oh. I really thought that was one of those, oh, you lose to this fight on purpose for me. Man, I play a lot of JRPGs. That's like every other one. You want a trophy for it, so that, that's good, right? Yeah. Second time around, it's like much quicker than I actually defend myself, so yeah. Yeah. The thing about Yasha is that he's just so cool. There is no longer a place Fucking hate him. In this world. He's he's Jetstream Sam. Before Jetstream existed. Like straight up, he doesn't have a sword, but he looks similar. If you put that man in a bodysuit and gave him an actual sword instead of slicey hands, he'd be Jetstream Sam. The coolest bit of fucking revenge. Which reminds me, although it most definitely will never happen since Kojima's gone, even though tech, I could also see, actually wait, was, was Rising Revengeance, that was like sort of handed to someone else for the most part, right? I think it was. So actually, they might do that again, because I always thought in my head, well, that's not called Metal Gear Solid, because it's not starting Solid, it's Metal Gear Rising. Are they ever gonna do a second Metal Gear Rising? Or is just Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, that's the thing, that's it, there you go, bam. I have that love it. Which I do. But I was like, damn. Also, that right there is a bit intimidating. Okay, I got that one. Where is it when I start just failing all these stick inputs? I could have sworn it happened early. But maybe I still have like a few more episodes of understanding how the stick motion works. Like, I never thought I'd become dyslexic to looking at an image move. Not, not words or anything I'm reading. But there, I reach a point where just literally looking at the stick motion it's showing me on screen, I'm like, what? The, the, what? Is that a circle? I thought that was an octagon. And stuff like that. Also, I got a hit in. I got a good hit in. Shut up. It was a good hit. Oh. Okay, that was a better hit. He's just cool. It's annoying. Also, you get to do this fight a second time. Thankfully, I already won it once, and this time, once again, I knew, oh wait, I probably actually need to fight and not get my ass beat. Still don't remember the whole recovering uh, technique by pressing X when you're flying in the sky, so that that's a problem. It's a bit of an issue. What we deal with? We, we get it going. We have fun here. It's fine. I'm, I'm getting my ass beat, but it's not like he'll kill me. That'd be silly if I managed to get killed a second time within essentially the same fight. Come on, man. You think I'm a scrub? You think I'd do something dumb like that? Please. This ain't the fucking impatient power. What, what the fuck does impatient mean in this context? I was trying to say novice hour, or like beginner hour. Fucking prostitute hours. Some kind of hours where I don't feel like I need five more coffees. I don't drink coffee, but I need one. Seven hours, 55 minutes until you play Monster Hunter. The countdown continues.
Yo, remember those three times when Naruto and Sasuke fought each other? Was it three or just the two? I know they fought twice in the same damn spot because it's supposed to be, you know, all poetic and stuff. But they had a they had a fight somewhere else in there, right? Or was it or were both of them at that freaking standoff at the canyon? Were they both there? This one is not another one. So I just don't remember. That was a good fight. That was great animation. It was good in the manga too. Was, they're like, that's how you can tell when a fight is written well and or impressively. Because I shouldn't say well. Ah, no, you can. Because when it comes to writing a fight, that's my choreography. And. The fact that it translates so well from the Enough. manga onto the screen, I think, speaks to how good the choreography was. Because they were able to be like, oh yeah, I know what he's doing there. I can one-to-one -one that. And it looks awesome. It doesn't look dumb. It's great. What did you say? Hmm? Be proud yes. Of Mithra's suffering. I like yes. the subtle burst and meter rising, by again. the way. If you if Your you don't notice it, devoted to the cause in order to save the world. Do you think you are? It gets a huge jump there, though. What? Is that excuse me? Clean, clean, excellent. Never felt it that way. Give me that mask, boy. My head put your face to hell. I just gerend you. You don't know about that yet. You got another five years before that gerend stuff starts. Another six, actually, shit. Oh my god, is his face deformed? Does he have a scar across the way? Why was he wearing the mask this whole time? Oh. Oh. No reason. His face is perfectly fine. You are as ugly as ever. He, he literally just put the mask on. For, for reasons. Before the cause. It is meaningless! And he just Jojo'd your ass. Note. Do not return yes, again. I do think that's more impressive. The Stardust Crusaders kill on Dio from uh, Jotaro. I do find more impressive than any sort of punch Jiren has thrown this whole time in Super. Let it be written down. I doubt many people will argue. Write that motherfucker on the whiteboard. Put it right there. D top 10 anime fights. Number 1, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Number 2, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Number 3 and number 4, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And then number 5, Naruto. And then number 6, Dragon Ball. No, number 6, One Piece. Number 7, One Piece. Number 8 is Dragon Ball. Number 9 is Gurren Lagann. And number 10 is some... Just thing that nobody ever thinks about, but it's good. It's a good one. Oh, hey, look, it's Tara Strong. It's my Duga! Duga! And Carrie Walgreen as Mithra? I feel filthy now. I can't call Carrie. I can't call her daughter. She could be my mom. I wish she wasn't my mom, actually. Shit. That's a cool lady. So is Tara Strong. I can't call her wife. Yeah, I can. I could call Tara strong wife. See, that's an issue. It's one of those... When you just get attracted to a voice, when you, when you just think to yourself, I don't care who this person is, what they look like, if they could just speak to me across the phone this whole time, I will listen forever. Also, by the way, that's the end of the game. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Nah, I'm kidding. That's just the end of part one. Woo! Give it to me. Give, give it to me. Pup C. 
Yeah, damn right. D. Woo, it's clean. S. B. Baby CDs get you Bs. Bring a CD to class. Be like, yo, teach. I had all my thesis. And then apparently I couldn't carry it on the CD because it was just so much data. It's a chemistry class. He doesn't fucking understand. It's fine.